I know it's a big black box for a lot of people. It's very unknown. It's a scary idea. Uh, radiation therapy is another tool we have to treat cancer. It's been a, a very effective tool. We make it as easy and as comfortable as well as safe as possible. And I think most people are actually surprised when they get on into treatments about how different it was than what they expected. It's much better. Radiation's been around for a while now, and the way that we practice it here, certainly, uh, we do our utmost to make sure that the process stays safe for the patient. It's been well studied, and uh, everything that we do here uh, has a lot of safety checks sort of built into it to make sure that the patient experience uh, is as safe as it possibly can be. For a lot of people, when they come into the department, the first process they have is to meet the physician we go over everything about their whole picture, the whole diagnosis, what treatments they've had up to so far, such as surgery and or chemotherapy. And then we get on into the radiation plan about how that is and why that is. At that point, we start the planning process. That involves a CT scan here in our department. They'd get their simulation CT, so that's when our uh, simulation CT tech would help them get set up in sort of the same position uh, that they would expect to be treated in for you know whichever location that they're receiving their treatment. That takes about maybe an hour of your time from start to finish but then that's what we use to do all your planning from there on. That imaging gets sent to our dosimetrists who are working together with the physician to craft a treatment plan for that specific disease site. Once that process is done uh, it sort of goes and gets headed off to uh, physics for us to do all our safety and uh, quality checks on it. And eventually it sort of makes its way out uh, and gets created at the machine. And that's when the therapists will be delivering the treatment to the patients. It's called a linear accelerator. Its job is to produce a steady, reliable, perfectly shaped beam of photons, or if you want to call them x-rays, which are like regular x-rays except more powerful and concentrated. On that first treatment day, they will be brought in at what will be their appointment time from then on. They will be put in place, all the parameters checked, additional films taken on the machine to verify positioning, and then the first treatment is given. From that day on, then a lot of that process doesn't need to be repeated. The treatments actually proceed very quickly. Usually a treatment from start to finish from the person walking in the front door, getting set up, treated, and then back out the front door is about 30 minutes. The machine does the motion. It moves around sometimes in a complete arc, sometimes a part of an arc. I tell people they will lay there and they will see it out there. It's not gonna crowd their face. It's not up, up on them. Then it will move around and they will hear the, the motors running, but anything else they will not sense. Side effects with radiation are always site specific. I tell a patient, look, this is the area to be treated, whether it's breast, a piece of the lung, what have you. The radiation side effects will occur within that volume and not outside it. We do not affect the rest of the body. A common place to treat is the breast. The big thing there is skin. A common place to treat is the lung. They might get a little heartburn. They may get a dry cough, but you see it varies according to the place. And this is what the physician has to go over with the person on that very first day to allay any fears that we're gonna affect body-wide processes. We're not. We only affect where we treat. At the end of your treatment, the nurses will do a little wrap-up with you, uh, seeing how you're doing, what's been going on, and give you some information from then on. They will also give you an appointment to come and see your physician about four weeks later, just to check on how your recovery has been. On your last day of treatment, you will also get to ring the bell. This is something like a ship's bell that's in the department, and you will get to ring it as loud and as long as you want to celebrate your ending of radiation. Your cancer therapy is very important to you, perhaps the most important thing right now. And we are dedicated to giving you the highest degree of safety and quality and precision that can be found anywhere else. Your interest is our interest. We're on your side.